Hey guys, it's me Chastity and I'm back for another video. Today we're going to talk about what do we eat on keto. I want to preface this, preface, preface. We're going to start by saying I'm not a nutritionist, not a doctor. I'm only sharing what's worked for us. We started keto August 27th, 2018 and we are now at the end of December 2018, rolling on into the new year and we're still going pretty strong. We started keto right as the holidays were fast approaching. So not that we set ourselves up for failure, but we just, it, you know, holidays and food and all the things, but we've enjoyed our holidays, as I said in the past, and we're ready for a new year and we've got some goals to smash. So I want to help you guys get to where you wanna be so that you can look back a year from now or five, six months from now even, and say, holy crap, I did it too. Keto is such an easy, such an attainable goal smasher that if I can do it, you can do it. I'm a mom, I'm an aunt, I'm a sister, I'm a daughter, I'm a businesswoman, and I also try and run our household. So we are just, we're very blessed to have started keto. Um, my only regret is not starting it sooner. And I know that sounds kind of cliche, but it's true. Like it has been such a game changer for us. Um, to go back, if you didn't watch my first video or you couldn't hear my first video, I just turned 30 December 9th and I am the smallest or lowest weight or however you want to say it, I've been in probably 12-ish years. Um, I never saw myself as having a weight problem. I've kind of always con attributed it, attributed it. I promise English really is my first language. I just forget how to speak it from time to time. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, I've always kind of just chalked up my uh, weight gain for <clears throat> the last couple of years as depression or anxiety causing or comfort eating or what have you. But let's be honest, there are food issues with me. Um, to get kind of real with you, when we first started, my vice has always been Taco Bell. And I know you're thinking, yeah, everyone likes Taco Bell. Well, you're not wrong, but I struggled. Um, Taco Bell has kind of always been my comfort food and good day, bad day, best day ever. I want to celebrate or feed my face and eat my feelings with Taco Bell. So by the way, not sponsored and I don't need your sponsorship because I can't eat that anymore. Um, so anyway, the first couple of days I, like I said previous, I had to go to our urgent care because my headache would not subside. I've had a small history of migraines, so I kind of thought, okay, this was triggered by caffeine, by sugar um, being taken on my diet, whatever. All I knew is it was miserable and I had to get it to stop. So I went to urgent care. Well, generally when I leave urgent care, I'm sick. So I go to Taco Bell on my way home to make myself still feel better. Well, this particular time, obviously I wasn't eating Taco Bell, so I drove by and I found myself in tears because I couldn't eat it. Let that sink in for a second. So it's not my proudest moment, but it is what it is, guys. I never realized I had food issues like that until that very day. And it kind of cemented it even more that I've got to do something. Um, so I just put on my big girl panties and handled it. And I'm not saying food addiction is a fallacy because I learned that day that it is, it's something. So um, I wanna kinda go over what we eat in a day or some meal ideas for you guys because a lot of times people say, how do I get started? Like, what do I eat? I can't eat this and I can't eat that. I assure you, you're not gonna starve on keto. That's probably been the easiest thing for myself and my husband because we're not gonna starve. Um, I have never been on a diet before. I've never felt the need to be on a diet. But I realized when I was trying to catch up with my son, who is now 19 months old, I was getting winded. And he's not, you know, he's a toddler. And so I'm thinking, how in the heck am I gonna be able to continue to keep up with him as he grows and gets bigger and stronger and faster? The truth is I wouldn't be able to. And I wanted to take family pictures, but I didn't wanna be the fat mom in the pictures. And I never had these thoughts until right before we started keto. 
that's a lot, probably six or so months before we started keto. Um, I didn't want to be the fat mom. I didn't want to be the fat aunt or the fat sister or the fat whatever. I didn't want to be fat. I was, I was done. And it was like suddenly it clicked. And I didn't want to be the fat girl. And I hate using the word fat because it's really bizarre. I've always been the type of person that I don't really notice people being overweight. I might notice their hair color or something, you know, about them, but it's never, oh, look at that fat girl over there. Look at that fat dude. It's never been that. Again, I hate the F word. I hate the F word. I like F bombs. Those are my favorite. But anyway, okay. So before I get carried away any longer, I have notes. And I didn't want this to be a ramble or a babble video, but it's me and that's kind of what I do. I also don't edit my videos at the time because I don't have time and I really just don't want to sit in front of a computer. So, um, hang on tight, you know, because we're going to get somewhere. Okay, so what we eat on Lazy Keto. This is before I started intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting is... A brief window I say brief it's not that brief but anyway a time period in the day where you eat my intermittent fasting is from 12 p.m. to about 6 or 7 p.m. depending on the day um, and of course it's not a perfect system for me because some days I'm a little hungrier when I wake up or I'm a little hungrier later in the evening and Zach works crazy hours some days so sometimes that means dinner gets pushed off a little bit for me and him um, however, you didn't gain all the weight in one day and screwing up your meal plan for just a little bit isn't going to gain it all back. So keep that in mind. You can make mistakes and still be successful with keto. That's the beauty of keto is you don't have to be perfect. There's no such thing as a perfect diet. So if you slip up one day and have Taco Bell for Pete's sake, eat enough for me, by the way. But if you do slip up, it's okay. We can make mistakes, we can screw up, it's totally fine. We're still gonna smash the crap out of our goals. So before I start harping on what to eat and all the things, I want to, <laughs> um, I'm getting text messages from people watching my video and it's, oh, I could cry. Um, but I won't, cause that'll come later. Please, 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 if you've decided keto seems like something for you, give it a month. guys. I can't tell you how amazing you're going to feel on keto. Just give it a month because you're going to blow your own freaking mind. So take a picture of the day you decide to start. I was about 10 pounds down already, which on my frame, I'm five foot eight. I'm a larger frame girl. I always joke that I'm built like a linebacker, but it's probably not that much of a joke. So, um, Take your before pictures, take your during pictures. It won't be flattering, I'm sure. Or hey, it might be, you go girl or boy, whatever it may be. Um, but take your pictures because you're gonna wanna remember where you started and where you're at now and where you're gonna be because your after pictures are gonna blow your freaking mind. So first of all, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. You're gonna wanna hydrate. Um, okay, what is lazy keto? Again, I've got two pages of notes. So hopefully I don't babble your whole life away. Okay, lazy keto is kind of a survival keto. Um, it's doable because we're on a budget. Most people are on a budget. I don't really know what our budget is sometimes, and Amazon Prime gets the best of me, but that's okay. Um, but we do want to eat quality foods. We want to put good stuff in our bodies because, well, I've spent 30 years putting crap in my body, and it's about time I pay it forward and give something good to it. Um, so we do 20 net carbs a day. Net carbs are super easy to calculate. You're gonna take your total carbs, subtract dietary fiber, subtract sugar alcohols, and that total is gonna be your net carbs. So, um, oh, I can't see, sorry. But you're gonna want to keep track of that. You're gonna need a calorie deficit. However, I get a little bingy when I have to start tracking very closely. I do know that I track in my head, it keeps me on track, keeps me going, and I don't really have to worry too much as far as that goes. Um, I did download my fitness pal and there was a carb manager or something to that effect, uh, an app, 
but it, it just makes me uncomfortable and I don't like it. So I don't do it, but I do encourage other people to do it because you might not be crazy like me, you know? You just might not be, you might have yourself together. Um, going a little out of order on my notes is why we started. Again, I have a very active toddler and he needs a mama that can be around. He needs, he needs us. I mean, we're kind of his lifeline, you know? And so, um, we, we want to be active. We don't want to be those parents that are sitting on the sideline like, oh, that's my kid. Good job. No, I'm going to be that mama running up and down the sideline screaming like a lunatic because my baby's on that field or my baby's on the chess team. I don't care what he does, but I'm going to be there and I'm going to be the healthiest virgin that I can so that he has healthy parents, healthy, active parents. Um, that does bring me to my next point. We do not exercise currently. Although chasing him around is definite cardio. Um, we have, I guess, chosen at this point not to exercise, but I do plan to change that in the coming months um, because I don't want flappy skin. I don't want loose skin. It may be inevitable because I do have such lofty goals to lose such a large amount of weight, um, but I want to put that out there. You do not have to exercise to do keto and you can still lose weight. Um, I think I had more motivation in the beginning because I was taking my little guy for walks and we would hang out and he loves to be outside so that's always good. But you don't have to go bust your ass in the gym right away. Get your diet under control and then work out. And um, let's see. So I battle depression and anxiety. I've got polycystic ovarian syndrome and endometriosis and it all sucks. But I will say a few weeks into keto. And there were so many more brighter days. And I really want to stress that you guys can have the best days. You'll have more energy. You won't be in a fog. I told my husband the other day, I freaking need to get back stricter with keto because I feel like I'm walking around in a cloud. And that's not fun and nobody wants to live like that. So um, just, just try it, you know? Um, okay, so we're gonna go over the... Um, I don't want to say basis because I feel like I use that word a lot, but the basis of keto is called the KISS method. And essentially it's keep it stupid simple. And that is the, it's going to save your butt. Let me tell you, because you're going to want to eat your high fat, your low carb. If you're going to keep your net carbs under 20 grams a day. And that must seem daunting because when I found myself in the HEV bathroom killing myself because I couldn't seem to get it together with my nervous poops. Um, it was like, oh my God, there's so much. But when you break it down to what you're going to eat, it really is best to keep it stupid simple. And so I'm going to go over breakfast and lunch and dinner and your snacks and your fats and your drinks and all the things. And it's going to be super simple. I would never call you stupid, but we're gonna keep it stupid simple. Okay, so for breakfast, eggs. If you don't like eggs, you're not gonna you fail on keto because I hate eggs. They taste like farts and no one can change my mind. Um, the first keto meal I made was cheesy scrambled eggs with avocado and salsa. And I sent a picture to Zach and it looked like one of those fancy little Instagram foods. Um, but I hated it because eggs, I'll eat hard-boiled eggs, I'll eat fried eggs these days, but for the most part, keep your dog on eggs. I don't want them. Um, sausage and bacon, that is going to be your saving grace because sausage is so, so, so quick and easy. You can microwave it, you can fry it. This is high fat, low carb, so you're not cutting out all your carbs, you're just going to cut out most of them. Breads, pastas, potatoes, all the things a good southern girl likes to eat. You're not gonna get to eat those right now. And that's okay, because once you see the weight come off, you're not gonna care. So, for lunch, the easiest thing for me with an active life, well, an active toddler, is lunch meat. I like to get the least processed lunch meat that I can find with cheese and pickles, um, and just make like a little charcuterie, charcuterie? You know, the fancy CH word, one of those, um, with just a spread. And I oftentimes have to share with my toddler because he runs this place. Um, another easy lunch is tuna salad. 
I don't get it in oil because that's not for me, but I get the albacore packed in water and put a little mustard, a little mayo, a whole, whole lot of pickles, and it's a good, it's a good meal. Um, for dinner, roast is the easiest thing. It's cheap and it goes far. Now in our house, it's just Zach, myself, and Brooks, and so we can make a roast last three days if need be. Um, you can change the seasonings. I like to also make roast tacos where I put a roast and taco seasoning and salsa in a crock pot and just let it roll all day long. And I usually make like a collie mash or broccoli cheese or something to that effect to go with it. It's high fat. It's just good stuff. Um, some of our favorite meals and as we go along with this, we're going to have some cooking videos, which we'll see, you know? Uh, but anyway, some of our favorite meals are taco bowls. It is taco meat, romaine lettuce, and your taco fixins. You can do sour cream. We're not huge sour cream fans, but you can do guacamole, you can do salsa and cheese and all the things that you like in a taco, but just on a salad. It's self-explanatory, but it's delicious. Um, another thing, I was asking Zach some of his favorite keto meals, jalapeno popper chicken. Holy smokes, y'all. It's so good. You're going to make a cream cheese filling. Again, these recipes are going to come later. And you're going to stuff your chicken and bake it. And it makes this beautiful sauce. And holy smokes, it's too good. Um, but every once in a while, we get kind of lazy around here. And we make links. I, I don't know if it's just like a southern thing. But there's link sales everywhere every single weekend um, in grocery store parking lots. If you guys are not from the South and y'all do this, please let me know so I don't think that we're the only crazy people that do this. But for every organization, there's a link sale. And let me tell you, it's always good. Always good. So what I'll do is take links. We use Zumo's. It's a Southern thing. And G. Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce. I always made fun of my friend because she does sugar-free ketchup, sugar-free everything. And I'm like, that tastes like crap. Like, how do you know? No, y'all, it's real good. Um, and just season it up a little bit if you want to. But anyway, you take your links and your barbecue sauce. I use my Instant Pot like it is going out of style. I just got another one for Christmas. So we're gonna Instant Pot this house down. Um, and then we use low carb tortillas. I think the ones that we use are the car balance kind because we have slim pickings at our grocery store. Another favorite is buffalo chicken dip. It's so good, y'all. It's buffalo sauce, cream cheese, ranch, cheese, and chicken. It's not bad. None of those things are bad. Um, let's go with some snacks. We like pepperonis here. I eat sausage all the time. I probably smell like a sausage for the most part. We do cheese, nuts, pickles. Um, Zach really likes panino fingers, which is just a mozzarella stick and pepperoni. And they're way cheaper if you make them yourself because you're gonna pay like eight bucks for five or six at the store, or you can make a whole crap load for the same price. Um, now with nuts, I prefer pecans. Zach prefers almonds and walnuts. And with those, you're gonna wanna watch out because it's really easy to overdo it. I have a food scale and I weigh out a serving size. And what I will tend to do is put it on a, um, put it on the food scale, weigh it out, and then put it in a little snack bag. That way we know exactly how much we're getting and we're not gonna overdo it and ruin our whole day on nuts. Um, let's see. So for oils, fats, and sauces, butter. I think most people think that all we're gonna do on keto is eat sticks of butter. And I'm sure you could. I don't know how successful you would be, but I'm sure you could eat just a whole stick of butter if you wanted. Um, so you're gonna eat butter. You can use ghee, you can use bacon fat, and if it's pronounced G, I can't help that. Um, you can use lard, you can use, I mean, any animal fat, I believe. But Zach will cook his eggs in butter. I'm not a huge fan of eggs. We've said that, I can't help it, they're just gross. Um, but he'll cook his eggs in butter. However, if I'm making eggs, I will eat them fried and I will usually use bacon fat that I save because if you try and buy bacon fat at the store, you're gonna pay a whole lot more than you need to. Um, with bacon, you're going to put your oven on 400. 
you're going to put your bacon on aluminum foil because trust me, you don't want to scrape bacon off of your cookie sheet. You're going to ruin your cookie sheet and you're going to be real pissed. So you're going to line your bacon sheet with aluminum foil, put your bacon on it, and bake it until it's your desired doneness. I like bacon so crispy it doesn't move when you hold it up. Zach likes it to still oink a little. I can't. I just can't, y'all. So that's the best way to cook bacon. I say 15 to 20-ish minutes. I usually go towards 25 if I'm cooking it for myself. And Brooks really likes bacon. To save room on your baking sheet, you can make twisty bacon, where you take your bacon and you just twist the crap out of it and lay it down. You can smush them closer together and bake them the same amount of time. Um, some sauces you could use. I am a saucy lady. I like buffalo sauce on everything. Zach likes hot sauce on everything. Check your carbs because you're not gonna wanna go over it. Also check for added sugars because you're not gonna want those either. Mustard is good. G Hughes barbecue sauce and ketchup are both sugar-free and they are delicious. I prefer original or hickory. Um, salsa. It's a little tricky subject, but you can have salsa. And you're not gonna wanna overdo it, of course. I could eat salsa on everything. That could be Southern, I don't know. But I can literally eat salsa on anything. Ranch is also approved. You can use Hidden Valley Ranch. That's typically my go-to. Check the sugars, check the carbs, and you're golden. Uh, let's see. For dairy, you're not gonna drink whole milk or milk at all, um, except almond milk, but that's not dairy. And it's kind of gross if you just drink it plain. Anyway, cream cheese, half and half, and heavy whipping cream. I will also give you a tip. If you mix heavy whipping cream, cream cheese, and a little bit of erythritol, you're gonna have a good dessert, that's for sure. And you can dip your fruit in it, and it's just delicious. You can eat it by itself, honestly. Um, for your fruits and vegetables, you can have romaine lettuce. It's probably my favorite. I'm not a spinach person, but you can have spinach. Um, the darker the green, the more nutritional it is. So cauliflower, broccoli, celery, you can have tomatoes, but it's a tricky line to cross on that one because some people that do strict heat are going to take absolutely not. And the way I look at fruits and vegetables is the nutritional value is going to kind of weigh a little heavier for me than how many carbs are in it. But I do like blueberries, I do like blackberries, and strawberries. Um, a good fat also is avocado, but you don't want to overdo it. I would say maybe half an avocado a day. Again, I'm not a nutritionist, and this is just what has worked for Zach and I over the last couple of months. And I have a habit of cooking and doing really good, and then one night I just don't want to cook. So we get takeout. And we are huge fans of Buffalo Wild Wings. Zach loves the traditional. And you can get the nutritional facts on those, I believe, on the app or on their website. Um, but their buffalo sauces are delicious, and their traditional wings are delicious, and their ranch is delicious. So that's a really safe bet. Lauren Brazy turned me on to Chick-fil-A salad. I'm not a huge Chick-fil-A fan. I know, kill me, right? But their Southwest chicken salad with no beans, no corn, with avocado lime ranch is the bomb. It's high fat, low carb, and it's delicious. Don't get the tortilla chips on it either. And if you are on the road, kind of needing to eat, but you don't really want to ruin your whole diet, you can order a burger pretty much anywhere without the bun. Just get meat or meat and cheese, depending on where you go. And you're gonna be set. Get your water and you're on your way. So when it comes to drinks, I have a lot of people say, I don't like water. It's hard for me to get all my water in. How much water do I need? I drink about a gallon a day. They say, and I don't know who they is, but I've heard it a million times, to drink half your weight in ounces of water a day. Um, at this point, I will just float away, but that's okay because you need your water. And you're gonna feel a lot better once your body regulates and gets used to drinking all the water. I only drink soda and tea. So when it came time to drink all this water, my body was like, what the hell is going on? But we got through it with the help of Mio. Um, and since you're gonna be, you know, peeing a lot, you're gonna lose a lot of your water weight. So you're gonna wanna replace your electrolytes that you're losing. Yeah, that you're losing. So, Powerade Zero is gonna be your saving grace. I 
would only drink about one a day. It would take me all day. I don't like cold water. I like room temperature water. And if that grosses you out, I don't know what to tell you. That's just the way it is. So, um, Mio water enhancers, we don't have any to show you, but they're really good. Again, if it helps you get your water in, just use a heavy squirt and you're good to go. Um, you can use lemon water or cucumber water or whatever. I just like plain purified bottled water. Um, coffee. I was a huge coffee drinker before keto, but I was one of those people that wanted more milk and sugar than coffee. So I don't drink coffee at all. I will try Bulletproof Coffee in the new year. It's just a lot for my brain to handle, so I, I don't do Bulletproof Coffee yet. But there's plenty of recipes. Keto Ginger has a whole video on like two or three different ways to make it taste good. And I've got those flavor enhancers also, but I haven't bitten the bullet yet to do it. Unsweet Tea. I live in the South. We like it to be like molasses around here. So I don't drink unsweet tea because I feel that's a personal attack on myself. I just can't do it. It's not for me, y'all. So, let me tell you about my favorite kitchen tools to get all of this cooking done. Instant Pot. You don't have to have it. You can have an off-brand pressure cooker. It doesn't matter. It's so easy. I am very, very famous for forgetting to take stuff out. I have a menu every week that we're gonna follow. And I know ahead of time what I'm gonna cook, and yet somehow I forget to take out what I'm cooking. So there's nothing easier than being able to throw everything in the Instant Pot, seal that sucker up, and cook it. It's too easy. But if you are a super wife, super mom, just super woman or man, and you do take your stuff out, you can put it in your crock pot. I have a few crock pots, and I have, I will say, they have been replaced since we had our Instant Pot. I tend to use the Instant Pot over everything and it has a slow cook feature if I ever need that. And um, Amanda or Keto Ginger calls it a spatulator. I found the Meat Smasher. It is a stick with little proggy things. I'll show you guys later. But it's a Meat Smasher and what that does is it just smashes your meat or whatever you need it to do. Again, Amanda calls it a spatulator. Um, I got mine at Bed Bath & Beyond like five or six years ago, and it's my favorite kitchen tool. Some tips and tricks. First tip, drink your damn water. It's going to be a lot of water, and you're going to hate it, but you're going to feel so much better. What the keto diet, especially lazy keto, is your body's going to use fat for fuel. You're not going to use carbs and sugar anymore. Your body's going to just change it over and fuel yourself on fat. And you're also gonna want that water to just flush everything out and hydrate everything because if you're just drinking sodas or you're just drinking coffee or you're just drinking tea, you're not getting your water in. And that's important. So you're gonna wanna get your electrolytes, you're gonna wanna get your water, and that's gonna make you piss like a racehorse, but you're gonna feel good. You might be in the bathroom all the time, but you're gonna feel better. And let's see. Again, we're gonna keep it simple. Meats, cheeses, vegetables, and you can make a salad out of anything. Buffalo chicken salad. If you have buffalo chicken dip left over, just eat that. Every once in a while, fry up some low carb tortillas and use it as a dip. You can use <clears throat> pork rinds for everything. For pork rinds, I get the regular flavor, I get this, the different um, flavors. They've got like salt and vinegar, they've got pepper, our HEB has so many flavors. And you can just put them little suckers in your food processor or just beat the crap out of the bag and bread your chicken or bread your steak or bread whatever. And you can fry it in your approved oil or you can bake it and it's delicious. We also have an air fryer. It doesn't get the love that it deserves, but we do have an air fryer. And there's, there's so many things. You can bake and wrap anything also. Um, and you're gonna see how easy it truly is to stick to keto once you get some recipes down. We have a pretty extensive rotation, but when you're just starting, you're gonna wanna keep it stupid simple. You're gonna wanna do just ground meat and vegetables or just bake your chicken or bacon wrap your chicken with some jalapenos and some cream cheese and just call it a meal. You know, you're gonna wanna keep it as simple as you can. I'm guilty of using um, bird's eye or green diet frozen vegetables. The steam in the bags are my friend. 
and that's just because it's super simple and quick and that's what I need I'm a busy mom I'm a busy wife and I need simple sometimes I might be home all day with my son but trust me that little guy is not gonna let me sit in the kitchen all day and cook so if you keep it simple you make sure you drink your water track your net carbs and you're gonna be successful I cannot wait to follow your journey I want to keep you guys updated on what we're doing we're gonna do some grocery hauls we're gonna do recipes I just want to see everyone succeed because it is so simple. If you have any questions, any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Subscribe and like our channel so that we can grow and we can also shrink at the same time. If you guys have any questions, again, leave them below. We're going to get to them as soon as we can and we will see you soon. Bye!